Hi guys, I hope you had a great week. So I've sculpted another character from um, Critical Role's Campaign Free, and for anyone who has watched it or knows about it, this is Chetney, and he's a little gnome with a secret. And well, obviously you can't. It's no secret now because you can see it. But his secret is he turns into a werewolf. So that's why I've done this sort of uh, little figure statue kind of thing where they're sort of joined together uh, because obviously they're both one and the same character. So let's crack on and show how I made this. So like most things I make, it's always good to have a, a reference picture. And this is one I found online. Um, apologies, I don't know who actually did this original drawing. But if any of you guys know, then by all means let me know in the comments just so I can sort of like link them in, tag them in or whatever. And then it's just a case of making a wire armature. So obviously you have this guy so I can uh, obviously then stick on some Sculpey and all that kind of stuff afterwards. So yeah, I'm using a softer wire this time just because it doesn't need to be sort of like super strong like my last, um, my last little build. So yeah, I've made obviously you can see the arms and the legs. But with this one I'm actually going to make sort of like just one frame. Even though there's like two figures on this. Um, because they are kind of like joined together. I feel I only really need to make the sort of the one frame that goes into the, um, the stand there. So yeah, obviously I printed the picture out the size that I want it. Again, obviously it makes things so much easier for myself. And yeah, it's just a case of getting the uh, the clay. Um, so I use Super Sculpey. Uh, although the one I use I think is the softer variety. You can get a much firmer one. Uh, and I know some people actually mix the two together to obviously make a medium one. So this guy, because he's not very big and thick, I didn't sort of cover it with tin foil first. I thought I'll just go straight over with the, uh, the Sculpey. Because um, I found last time when I did use the tin foil, sometimes it is difficult to get the, the Sculpey to sort of like um, stick on it. I then add some more wire just to make the, the framework for obviously Chetney as a, as a gnome. And then continue to sort of keep adding more and more clay. Um, yeah, so I really am enjoying these, these kind of builds. So I've only really made, well, the last few have been my sort of main sort of Sculpey builds. And yeah, I'm loving it. So guys, if there's anything you want to see me build, whether it's from sort of Critical Role or anything else, um, I say, really weird, when I first started this channel, this was something I wanted to do more of. Uh, then somehow I kind of fell into the Warhammer stuff and didn't really do anything to do with the Sculpey stuff. Which is why I've got quite a lot of tools and bits and pieces from about two years ago. Um, and it's nice to actually finally uh, be using some of the stuff, which is, uh, which is pretty cool. So yeah, guys, anything you want to see me make out of Sculpey, as in sort of figures, whether they're like superhero, Marvel things, or any sort of new films about, like Sonic, I was thinking about making Sonic. Um, yeah, anything really, just so I can have a go at um, seeing, seeing, well, seeing if I can make it basically, and just having fun. Um, I mean, that's the whole thing about this, this channel, and obviously what I do. If you've been watching me from the beginning, you'll know that I started this channel um, during the second lockdown. Um, so yeah, so about two, almost two years ago, uh, just as a way of keeping busy. Just because I, well, I'm a bit of a big kid, I like making things, and I like painting things. So yeah, that's kind of why I'm doing all this sort of stuff. So yeah, so guys, let me know, because I'm just waffling now, <laughs> what you'd like me to see, see me make next. Uh, because yeah, also, I've also got a lot of resin, and I've not done much with the, the clear resin. So guys, yeah, anything you can think of where I make something out of Sculpey, and then make some sort of like water effect, splash effect, uh, or cryo chamber, or any of that kind of stuff. Yeah, leave it in the comments, guys, because uh, I like to hear what you, you think, and I like to try and make new things. Anyway, enough of the waffling, back to the video. Um, but as you can see, see though, it is just a case of just sort of adding layers, adding bits. Um, so this Super Sculpey basically is like plasticine. So it's nice and easy to manipulate um, and to cut, obviously, uh, which is obviously what I'm doing here. So yes, yeah, so I've got quite a lot of tools, so it is fun to, to be using them now. Um, and yeah, so with this sort of thing, it is just a case of adding it up and just adding bits and little bits here and there. Um, some bits you can make separately. And the other stuff I like about this is a lot of the bits that I make, sometimes I make them and then stick them in the oven so they go rock hard and then it's easier to put them onto the piece because um, you can push them in and you know they're not going to get squished or, uh, or change shape or any kind. So like you guys, obviously I watch a lot of uh, YouTube and how to make things and stuff and everyone seems to obviously make the head separately just because obviously it's a lot easier. So um, yeah, with that being said, that's exactly what I do. Um, again, I've not made many heads. I mean, that last one I made, uh, well, last week, was like the first sort of proper head that I've made. Um, and yeah, it didn't come out too bad. So this is obviously a grumpy looking gnome. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make him grumpy looking, or as grumpy as I can. Okay, so I'm going to stop talking for the next few bits, because I never quite know what to say and I end up just waffling. Um, so yeah, I'm going to speed up some of the footage, 
and obviously just watch and see how he sort of evolved. And that's him all done and primed. So yeah, ready on to painting. Uh, painting was fairly simple on this one. Used some of the um, the speed paint from Army Painter, just because I think these are so awesome. They uh, they are nice and easy to use, and yeah, give good results. So I started painting him, uh, but I hadn't actually looked at some of the reference pictures of obviously how he looks and the colours. Um, and yeah, so when I looked, he's mostly in blue. So that, that's why I obviously uh, had a quick change of mind and then repainted his shorts and his hat. And a bit of his scarf as well. So I'm really pleased with how he came out. And yeah, I really like how the wolf came out as well. Even though I did sort of struggle with him a little bit. And then for the base, I uh, did a bit of cheating and 3D printed one. There's a link in the description to the base that I use. And yeah, that's him done. So yeah, big thanks out to everyone who subscribes, likes, shares, comment on this, guys. Uh, it really does help the channel out. And obviously a big thanks to all my patrons and my sponsors. Okay, guys, let me know in the comments what you want to see me make next week. Um, yeah, have a great week, take care, bye for now.